Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted that Microsoft had started the rollout of this year's annual feature update for Windows 11 version 24H2 to the release preview channel Insiders. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen, this is for customers to preview the update ahead of general availability later this year in 2024. Now, in regards to Copilot, which is going to be getting quite a major update with an in 24H2. In regards to Copilot, currently Copilot is not a standalone app. Uh, it currently slides out from the right hand side and is part and parcel of the Windows 11 desktop and cannot be moved around um, or minimized to the taskbar. Now, this is where this is all set to change. And as mentioned, Copilot is going to be getting a little bit of an upgrade when it comes to the UI and the actual overall functionality and experience when using uh, Copilot in Windows. And um, as part of 24H2, um, Microsoft say they are evolving the Copilot experience, as they call it, on Windows as an app that will be pinned to the taskbar. So here we can see once again, if we just zoom in here a little bit, that once again Copilot is going to be moved away from the system tray and then uh, placed once again back in the center taskbar where the app will be able to be minimized and maximized like any other native app um, on Windows. And Microsoft says this enables you to get the benefits of a traditional app experience, including the ability to resize. So you'll be able to resize the app, which I think is nice, move and snap the window. And they say this is due to feedback from users throughout the preview of Copilot in Windows. And I actually think this becoming its own so-called native app, for want of a better word, in Windows, I think is a nice move in the right direction. Now, here you can see a couple of differences. First of all, uh, you will see a text box in the center, which is where the conversations obviously will take place. Uh, then the recent conversations or your uh, chat history um, are listed in the left navigation pane with the notebook and plugins options listed at the bottom left-hand corner, as we can see. So a couple of different user interface and layout changes come in over and above the, the ability to minimize, maximize, move and resize, and also snap that as a normal window layout. And uh, um, due to the fact that this has taken on a new layout and user interface, um, there's been a couple of users who have noticed that the new Copilot app is very similar to OpenAI's chat GPT, which has a similar... Um, designed to uh, chat gpt's user interface and the copilot app as we can see has the uh, left side vertical menu like chat gpt where it displays your recent um, conversations as mentioned and uh, chat gpt here at the bottom has an account label to the bottom left where the copilot app places the plugins and note book options as mentioned to the bottom left and the reason for this could be that obviously um, due to the fact that a lot of users are using um, OpenAI's chat GPT it could be that uh, Microsoft just wants to keep a familiar user interface and layout when it comes to the Copilot app just to keep things um, simple without getting too complicated with a new layout and a new user interface because currently uh, in Copilot um, as, an, as an example Microsoft Copilot online uh, your recent chats are here to the right hand side and your notebook is here at the top and your plugins are also here to the right hand side. So it seems that all the uh, top toolbar functionality is being moved into the left hand side, very similar to OpenAI's chat GPT. But there we go. I just wanted to give you a kind of first glimpse, for want of a better word, of the new Copilot app, which is going to be part of this year's annual a feature update for Windows 11 version 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.